What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Carpenter with V-Flat World. In this video, I'm in my studio with Cheryl and we are using two V-Flats, three lights to create a really dramatic portrait. So as I previously stated, we're using three lights for this shot. Uh, the first one in our key light is this B10 with a beauty dish and a grid. That's gonna be kind of angled down. I've got the grid because I don't want a bunch of light shooting everywhere. Um, and I've kind of got her positioned looking up towards the light. I always make sure when I'm working with a model like this, if it's a very kind of acute light source, to tell them which light is their main light. So in this case, I'm, this is her main light. I'm just kind of telling her to cheat that direction. Um, right behind her, kind of over her head, I've got a B1 with a blue gel uh, and a 40 degree grid. That is just shining some light onto this V-flat here. I've just kind of got the black side of the V-flat in just the right angle. And the light shining down, the background is just gonna be the side of the V-flat you know, directly behind Cheryl. And then behind that, I've got another V-flat on the white side, kind of wrapping around with a, another B10 and just a lighter blue gel. Uh, what that's doing is that's kind of kicking into that V-flat, wrapping around, creating some nice rim light. So I've kind of got an analogous theme with the blue here. Um, basically, I've got the blue background, just a lighter blue kicker. Uh, that way it's not, you know, we're not throwing a bunch of different crazy colors in there. I just kind of wanted a kind of cool blue theme with this. And then finally what I have is, got some of this atmosphere aerosol, it's the, you know, fog in a can, just to kind of add some depth to the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and just spray this around, kind of behind her, a little in front of her. I'm gonna take the shot. I'm also taking the shot kind of to add to the drama. I'm shooting it from a low angle, shooting high. Can't go too low, because then I'll get the light or, you know, above the V-flat, and I wanna make sure I keep her within that frame. So let's go ahead and shoot just a little bit, and I'll show you the final image. All right, so the first light we're gonna look at is just this key light, which is the B10 with the gridded beauty dish. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that looks like, and then we'll go ahead and just kick on each other light, just so you see what they're doing individually before we throw them all together. So first thing is I've got just that beauty dish. I do have the modeling light on for this light, just so I can kind of see where it's falling. In a situation like this, I wouldn't normally have it because I've got all my windows open and stuff like that, so I can still see, but when it is kind of, I've got it feathered off just a little bit, I wanna be able to see where that light's hitting her face before I take the shot. So I've got the modeling light on for that. But as you can see, that's just kind of a, you know, standard, it's pretty dramatic looking right there, but let's go ahead and throw in the other lights and we can kind of add in as we go. So I'm gonna turn that one off. I'm gonna turn just this background light on that's above her head. And what that's gonna do is that's just gonna hit the black background, the black V-flat, and that's going to just kind of create a nice, you know, halo of blue around her head. And also, um, you know, with the grid, it's, it's not spreading out a ton. So I wanted it to kind of pretty, be a pretty defined uh, light source there. I can, however, turn that power up just a little bit. So I'll go up a stop for that. It's because I'm shooting into uh, black. You know, if I was shooting into white, I would have to turn that power way down because that's gonna reflect that light back. If I'm shooting it onto black, that black's gonna absorb the light. The black side of the V-flat's always absorb the light. What that also does though, when you're shooting a gel though, it can create a really cool, really deep, deep, you know, saturated color depending on the color you're using. So in this case, we're able to create a really deep, dramatic blue uh, by shooting that light into the black side of the V-flat. So that's pretty good. Other than that, I can just kind of move around, get it lined up how I need it. But that's a really good starting point. So let's kick that one off and we'll just turn this light that is kind of bouncing into the white part of the V-flat, which is gonna act as a rim light. We'll just turn that one on just so you can kind of see what that one's doing. So the great thing about using a V-flat as a kicker light is it's gonna, you know, depending on the how the crop of the image, it's gonna highlight a lot bigger of an area than just say a smaller strip box would do. So in a pinch, this is a really great way to use that where I'm just bouncing a light into that, bouncing it back. We've got still that blue, but it's definitely a lighter blue. So I didn't wanna use the same blue. I kinda wanted a slightly lighter blue as the rim light, but you can see it's, it's, it's kinda silhouetting her entire body rather than just part of it if I was to use a different light source. So let's go ahead and turn all the lights on now. 
And we'll go ahead and show you what it looks like with all, all three lights uh, in use. All right, just looking at this real quick, my key light, I'm just gonna turn that down just a little bit, just probably like half a stop. With this, depending on where she is, if she leans in just a little more to that light, it might affect the exposure. So she's staying pretty still, so I'm gonna keep her where it is. I like the way it's hitting her face. So I'm just gonna turn that power down a little bit, uh, and that should kind of solve all the problems there. So right there, we're getting it to where we really, really like it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have her kind of angle her chin up just a tiny bit more, um, just so I can keep that catch light in her eyes. If her chin's too far down, just the way the light's positioned, we're gonna lose that catch light, so we're gonna lose the soul of the image. So I'm gonna have her tilt her chin just a teeny bit, not too much, because you don't want her looking straight up like this. I'm gonna have her tilt up just a tiny bit, still kind of maybe angle her eyes down at me, and then we might do a couple where she's looking off camera as well, so. Perfect. And chin up towards the light a little bit. And let's look off camera a little bit. All right, perfect. And what we're gonna do, the last final touch here, is we've got this atmosphere aerosol. I'm just gonna kinda hold the camera in one, I'm a one man show today, so I'm gonna hold camera in one hand, spray in the other, try not to spray her in the face or anything. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray this around the back and then take the shot and that's just gonna add a little bit of atmosphere as the name tells us uh, and just a little bit of depth too. So I like to do this in kind of short bursts. All right, perfect. So as you can see with that, it just kind of adds a little bit of atmosphere to the image, a little bit of depth to the background. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see any more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and follow VFlat World. Also check them out online at vflatworld.com. If you want to check out any of my personal stuff, check me out on Instagram at ReadyLightMedia or at my website at nextlevelworkshops.com. Big thanks to Cheryl for helping us out, and I'll see you next time.